Hey everybody, my name is Conrad and I'm a creator that loves to share and co-create with my community whenever I come up with cool new ways to solve everyday challenges. If you've been following my latest projects, you'll know that I've been a huge fan of using Notion to be intentional and gamifying my life, greatly enhancing my productivity and organization. Since I'm also writing my content on Notion, I've been exploring how we can directly publish from the tool as well, with our own desired look and feel. I'm proud to say that I've been successful in this endeavor through various community efforts and shared a written guide on how I've successfully created a lightning fast blog and website with dynamic content loading from Notion and how you can do it too for free. So in this video, I'll be visually explaining the steps outlined in this guide and showcase how you can get your site up and running in under 10 minutes. I hope you all enjoy. In this guide, I won't be going through the prerequisites in detail and instead going straight into the integration. The best thing about this setup is that it enables you to apply the Notion integration to any Gatsby starter so that you can choose your own preferred look and feel and be able to load in content from your own Notion workspace. You can find many templates available on the official Gatsby JS website and pick one that you like. Let's pick one that looks minimalistic, but stylish enough to build on top of. By clicking into it, we can see more details on how to install it into our project and a demo site showcasing how it looks and behaves. We can also test the mobile look and feel to ensure that we are satisfied with the starter. Now that we are sure this is the starter we want, let's install it into our projects. Again, this is assuming that you have already completed all of the prerequisites detailed in the guide. I will be using a Windows machine for this visual tutorial, but the process will be similar on Mac and Linux. Open up your command prompt and paste the line of code in to install the project into your system. You can also change the folder name where the project will be installed as I've done here, but it is entirely optional. Depending on the size of the template you have chosen, this step may take some time and various warnings may be shown due to the unique dependencies. This is mostly harmless and it will not hinder your deployment. So now that the project has been installed, go to your favorite code editor. In this example, I am using Visual Studio Code and open up the folder you have just installed. The first thing to do is to check if everything installed properly. Open up a terminal window and run yarn develop or Gatsby develop. This will create a local instance of your project so that you can test if the starter site is working as expected before you start to customize. You can test your local site by going to localhost colon 8000. Here we see that the site looks good, meaning that you have successfully installed your first starter into your system. Now, let's start following the steps in the guide. Our first integration step is to install a plugin that will pull fresh Notion database data into our static projects on every deployment. Let's copy this line of code and paste it into our terminal. We should kill off all terminals that are running Yarn develop in this step because we are installing new dependencies into the project. After installing the plugin, we need to do some configuration. Add this piece of code into your Gatsby config.js file, and you should change the link for the table to refer to your own Notion table link. However, I recommend you stick with my link for your first setup so you can verify everything is working. At this stage, you can already start testing to see if the plugin is pulling data from Notion. Start a new terminal window and run yarn develop. You should see in the terminal output that there are Notion tables being queried. After the project is done compiling, navigate to the GraphQL interface where you can check to see what data is being pulled into Gatsby.js. By clicking on all posts and indicating title, description, and URL, we can see that all published posts are successfully pulled into the project. Next, let's now have Gatsby.js automatically create new web pages for each article or newsletter. 
This can be accomplished by adding this code into Gatsby node.js. To briefly explain the code, here we are indicating that we want all published posts that are articles to be created under the URL blog slash posts and the structure of the content to be generated with the template blog posts.js. Now, let's continue creating pages by copying and pasting from the guide. Blog.js is the page where you can see a list of blogs. Subscribe.js will be the page where you can see a list of newsletters. Blogpost.js is the template in which all new blogs or newsletters will be following. PostItem.js is the component to determine the look and feel of each new row of blog items. Similarly, NewsItem.js is the component to determine the look and feel of each new row of newsletter items. And finally, it's highly recommended to add this code to your global CSS file to ensure optimal mobile behavior. Now that that's all done, you should now be able to run yarn develop in your terminal and be able to see data populate your pages. Navigating to localhost colon 8000 slash blog should showcase a list of all your blogs. Similarly, navigating to localhost colon 8000 slash subscribe should showcase a list of all your newsletters and clicking any of the entries in either pages should lead you into the detailed entries of each item. As a bonus, let's talk about how you can make those pages more accessible from your home page. You can define them as links in your navigation bar, but also anywhere on your index page. Let's see how this can be done in the starter. First, we should delete code that we will not be using, for example, this gallery of static images. Instead, I want two prominent links to redirect the viewers to my blog and newsletters. You'll notice that I'm simply reusing code and components from the starter. This is highly recommended because the look and feel is already well defined and styled. You should try to recycle as much as you can, so ideally your starter should include components you love. Once you save the project, you should see the change propagated in your local version. Now we can move to the next step of deploying your project to the web. To effectively deploy your project, you should use GitHub and Git to manage your versioning and set up auto deployments. Let's first start a project and name it. It's completely up to you to make it a private or public repository. Next, copy this line of code to connect your project with GitHub so that all future pushes will directly populate the online repository. First, you have to commit your changes locally. Then, open up a new terminal window and run the first line of code. Once your project is successfully connected, run the second line of code to push your new changes. After the step is complete, check your GitHub repository to make sure your folders and files are updated. Next, let's go to Netlify and connect it to GitHub so that it can automatically pull the latest code changes to deploy your site. The Netlify GitHub integration is very precise, so you can specify exactly which repositories you would like to share between the two services. Once you click Deploy Site, you are done. Wait a few minutes and your Notion-powered website should be live. In the meantime, you can customize your URL by using Netlify's domain name or even importing your own domain, which is all included in their free tier. After the site is deployed, find your website using your new domain name. In just 10 minutes, you have created your own personal website with dynamic content loading from Notion and limitless customization opportunities, all for free. Wow. A huge thank you to Amy Utley, 
Courtney, Jimmy John, Kylie Chim, Nicholas Patel, Tabatha Drum Dixon, and all our amazing patrons this month for supporting Coex3, a space of co-creation and collaboration built for the community. Your support means the world to us and keeps this project going. Thank you so much. We have a launch goal to hit 100 patrons, and once this goal is met, we hope to release interesting and innovative content every two weeks. As one of our early patrons, you also get access to our exclusive Notion Super Package, which unlocks one-click duplication for dozens of practical templates and frameworks, and update it weekly. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful week and remember, be intentional.